Listen, I know it's Florida A&M, but you can see his effort in him imposing himself on the defensive end. They're out. Off the miss from me and Matthews off the bench. That could be a lethal combination. You wonder if this is just for tonight or is this what they're thinking? We don't know, but a little surprised that Matthews coming off the bench. Up top, fresh. Still, ball movement, sharing the ball is going to be a big emphasis for this USC team. You know, Mobley's more versatile than Okong was, so you can put him out on the perimeter some. That's where he is like, now. But I like the interchanging of Mobley and Okongwu inside, outside. They get it down to their big, a 300 pounder in Desaire, blocked and altered twice. There it. There's a switch right there with Kosovic. Now on Reeves, see if he can keep him in front. Officially four boards for Okonwu, and now a third block. I cannot wait till we get into league play, JB, and all these young bigs we have in a listen. I know it's Florida AM, but you can see his effort in him imposing himself on the defensive end. They're out. off the miss from me and Matthews off the bench. That could be a lethal combination. You wonder if this is just for tonight or is this what they're thinking? We don't know. But a little surprised that Matthews coming off the bench. Up top, fresh. Back up off of Andy Enfield's bench to replace Rakosevic with two fouls. That's something they have this year. Maybe they lacked last with some foul insurance. Foul Rikosevich. insurance. They weren't very deep last year at the end of the season because of some injuries and guys not playing. Here's Randolph, who we featured off the top of our show. Got in too deep. I don't think I've ever seen that before. After that, big first burst, too. He got a long rest on the bench back in year. They, they have to play what, what we call bye games all throughout November and December. So they're used to going and playing high major Division I team. So you're right, JB, another block for O'Connor. Six. They have some 7-4 guy that we we don't know about. No, I'm just keeping track of time zones. Rakosevich as the drought continues. Okongwu doing it. SC have come in the paint on the offensive board, Jim. That's what I expected. You know, when you look at both rosters, you're saying, okay, what's USC's advantage? It's their size. Easy entry to Okongwu. That time right short. What happened was the non-conference season did not go well. So once we got into conference, you couldn't help yourself. You could only hurt yourself. So there. That's a shocker. Yeah. You believe that? You know what we should do? Can you just. Okongwu! From. Stop and then elevate off of one leg. That is a difficult shot. He gets it to go down. And then Miles. That's block number seven. He's for blocks there. Couldn't get a piece of it. Okongwu goes to work with the easy left hand. You. Play the three and the four, and he's in that far corner as you view it. I'll tell you what, the day I was at practice for USC, he was lighting it up from the perimeter. Okonglu! What the? Anderson lines up a triple. Did you foul. see that, that possession, JB? The ball wasn't getting side to side. <laughs> Telling them. Easy now. It's a little early for the thigh ball. I'm not saying. Comparison. I'm not saying. Uh, interesting. A tough night for the rest of the USC team from behind the line. And he comes in and immediately knocks one down. But I told you, I saw that in practice. In all their live stuff, he was making a ton of threes. There's another block to Matt. With 10 to shoot, Cameron Reeves takes over. Kongwu with a deflection. Yeah, let's add a steal to the stat line as well. Sturdivant gives it. And the reverse. Play the three and the four. And he's in that far corner as you view it. I'll tell you what, the day I was at practice for USC, he was lighting it up from the perimeter. Oh, Kongwu. 